Dr. Anton Kunchuk. On behalf of ICD, we welcome you to join us today. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to ask you, in your own opinion, what is cultural diplomacy? Oh, thank you very much for this uh, interesting question. Uh, cultural diplomacy for me is uh, a nice um, uh, way of uh, trying to bring people together in order to exchange uh, ideas. In the sense that, um, uh, you know, that um, uh, the cultures are very diversified. And if I would just take this case of uh, a Western culture and Southern culture and all the likes, so they have to, to come together and to discuss issues in order to sort of uh, profit from one culture and to another one and so on and so on. That's, a, for me, the best way to bring people together and to get to exchange. And this might lead to sort of development or kind of a carrefour of win-win uh, sort of partnership or so. Yeah. So, in your earlier discussion, you mentioned capacity building, yeah. science and technology. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, in your own opinion, how do you think African leaders can use um, science and technology to improve and add value to its natural resources to improve their economy? Yeah. Actually, I just uh, thank you for this uh, this point as well. Uh, it's in fact um, a very nice issue, and during the last ten years in Africa, there is a very big move because uh, there are new institutions which have been created now, and uh, new universities, and they not only these universities and institutions, but they they now try to put it in the sense where uh, uh, professors are coming from all around the world. You know, they come from all around the world and they bring really uh, knowledge comparable to Western knowledge and to teach uh, uh, um, young men in Africa. And these guys are the key people for the development. Because uh, if I would just take the, the case of African University of Science and Technology in Abuja, we have been teaching the last four years, and also the case of uh, African uh, Institute for Mathematical Science, which started in South Africa, and now this, since 2008 is now spreading as uh, African Institute for Mathematical Science Next Einstein Initiative, and which is uh, planned to, uh, uh, to be 15 more up to 2023. So this is a really nice platform that they are, they are setting out in Africa to, to really um, uh, prepare for development. Uh, it is, I found this very exciting, very interesting. Uh, professors are also coming from all over the world. They have to put a lot of money uh, to hire good persons for Africa. And they are now also like trying to, to get uh, people educated in an area very oriented, in, oriented to our uh, um, culture, to our realities, and so on and so forth. And I think we've, from that perspective, it's a very, very nice way to get to, to attempt to start really uh, the development. So there's, uh, yeah. And, that, yeah. um, and regarding the topic of the panel discussion earlier, um, mm. we were wondering, how must education in Africa change to accommodate everyone, not just the ones who can afford good education? In it, your opinion, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. So, I mean, uh, if I would have studied your question correctly. Yeah. So, um, I think Africa has already, I mean, if you just account for people who got education from uh, Western countries, those who, because also in Africa, the university, Af African universities are not totally bad. They are good. They are uh, good people. They are teaching and they also have good, uh, good uh, um, people who, who come from these uh, universities and institutions in Africa. But the thing is, uh, we, see we are missing f uh, uh, something. We are missing uh, probably one, one thing. Why uh, this education is performed and we don't really get into real move in terms of development. Uh, if we don't uh, really um, see development, it means we are speculating on things and they are missing some data. According to me, I think, I think uh, we are forgotten a lot the politics. Yeah. Because I have some handful examples 
of people, very great minds, who return ban back home. They are very clever. They have been doing very good things here in Europe. But when they return home, they, you can't recognize them anymore. So they don't do anything. When someone complains that these institutions should be like that, they say, no, I know people there, they should be doing this. But when we talk to them, they say, no, the reality is totally different. It means the politics there is not welcoming them uh, the way they, they should be done. In order to help them, to put them in a situation where they can really uh, bring their knowledge to, the, to get the country developed. So that's, uh, that's one of the, the main problems of Africa, the politics. If they are not willing to do something, if they are not willing to, to create a nice atmosphere for people to really uh, 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 actually um, uh, express their know-how, yeah. to really transfer what they know, then it will be really difficult. They are frustrated, they do nothing. Yeah. And that's presently the situation in Africa, and they are, they are, this has to change. And the Africans yeah. should also understand that their problem has to be solved by themselves and not by yeah, others. Absolutely. Yeah, they have to understand this. Yeah. Yeah, and to, uh, and create a, a, a platform, a create strategy to doing this. And one of the thing is, uh, it seems to me that it seems to me that uh, politicians who are now there, uh, who are like kind of not allowing the system to work. Probably, I w I, I'm tempted to say they are not the right persons because if I have my farm, I have to think of how to to make crops growing efficiently. Mm -hmm. So if I, uh, nothing works, I have to 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 make a good diagnostic to get to find the correct way to make the thing work. But for many years, I've been discussing and discussing many new things about how to get Africa improved, but it was more or less saying at the same place, means something is missing. And I point directly um, the fingers to the, to the politicians in the, yeah. at the first place. I think so. Yeah. Um, and so the panel discussion topic was, is the West doing enough to promote the right kind of education in Africa? Mm. So the next question we have is, um, that topic of the panel discussion puts a lot of emphasis on the West providing education in Africa. Yeah. How much do you think Africa should be dependent on the West? Um, and then also, how much do you think Africa needs to take mm. more initiative themselves, mm. to, especially regarding education, but also other issues? Yeah, very interesting question also. Uh, Africa is now, as um, I've also heard from many speakers um, uh, uh, during this uh, symposium, uh, Africa is not uh, a continent we should be begging. Yeah. Uh, Africa is rich enough. Uh, Africa should now start like uh, a sort of cooperation, women cooperation, because they can say, okay, uh, instead of just allowing that the uh, natural resources just uh, flow away without uh, profiting from the money that they're getting from these natural resources, because I would say they get the money, but they don't use that money in an efficient way. Yeah. So then they have to say, okay, they have to reach to reach a situation where they say, okay, I give you all, and you give me this, and we can like doing this to make something really realistic that people can see that it's really there's a big change instead of just uh, taking the money and then we, in the end of the day we don't know where that money has has gone through. So the Africa should now, as I said, Africa should now understand that they are uh, potential. Uh, 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 there are potential good continents that can play a good role in the world, yeah. in the sense that they can collaborate in a win-win type of uh, collaboration, cooperation with uh, Western countries, not only playing the second role. Absolutely, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think this in that way, if they start, and this is also like they keep going, connecting, folding back to the politicians. I point them. Yeah. I'm scientist, you know, and I think uh, I had, a, as I already said, I know quite a lot of people who are back who are in Africa and they did not do as I would, what I, I expected them to do. Yeah. And they always complain about the system, corruption, uh, atmosphere which is not suitable for them. They are frustrated a lot and so on and so forth. In this atmosphere, it is really difficult to, to move. And this is, this frustration, this is also uh, initiated, uh, initiated by Africans. 
So Western, I wouldn't complain about Western people because everyone has to make his own, on his own way. You can collaborate with them to get what they get, what they get uh, good from their own culture, but you not, should not expect them to do everything for you. Now, yeah. This is exactly. too much demanded. Yeah. Yeah, you need much. to have yeah. the initiative. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that brings us to the end of the interview. And we just wanted to say on behalf of the Institute, thank you so much for taking the time here today to speak and also to answer a few questions. And you're always welcome back, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. The pleasure has been mine. Eh?